Alright, so you already know how to take somebody out of a picture that you don't want. You use the clone brush. And you use the history brush, or you use the band-aid tool to uh, spot heal, you know, blend the things together. Well, today I'm going to show you how to use the history brush. And with the history brush, what you do is you can actually bring back the things that you've taken out. So, say if you clone out a person that was right here, or a chair, you can use your history brush to bring that chair and all its contents back. Alright, and you can go over here and bring back these people. Now, I've already cloned all these people out, so that's why you're not seeing that. I'm just showing you what the history brush does. goes through and you can bring back any of it. Real simple, real easy, good to use, good alternative for masks when you don't want to mask something. Um, let's see, add a new layer and if you hit that background layer you can use that history brush to bring something back on the new layer. Just on the new layer. So if you only want parts of the picture, or if you want to just extract that one part, it's another method of extracting history brush can be used for. Alright, and that's about all the history brush does. It brings back things that you've taken out. So if you make a mistake or something on cloning, uh, I'll give you an example. Say if I was cloning this here. Cloning, cloning, cloning. Oh, not on the right layer. Cloning over here. And then you go too far. Well, you can use that history brush to just go. Okay, well, let's just undo that. Now, yes, you can just do the undo. But I'm teaching you about the history brush, so you're going to learn about the history brush. Alright. If you like these tutorials, please subscribe to this YouTube page. And uh, check out photoshops.com.